Good day. This is a tutorial on how to reinforce expanded, expanded polypropylene foam with regular screen door fiberglass. This sample of EPP has been treated with a layer of lightweight spackle and then sanded off with 120 grit paper. Uh, the top surface I have coated twice and sanded off. Insect screen. Same stuff you put on your door or your windows to keep the bugs out but not let all that nice fresh air in. Here's a full roll from, off, uh, from Home Depot, 48 by 84 inches. I believe this was $7 and that comes out to 25 cents per square foot. Comes on a big long roll like this, you can get even bigger rolls. But nonetheless, it's, a, it's very lightweight. The adhesive we're going to use is Gorilla Glue. Sure we're all familiar. The idea here is to use the Gorilla Glue, the polyurethane glue, get a good even coverage over the entire surface and then squeegee it off really thin. Take your glue, there it comes. And if this is, is a wing section, you're going to use a lot. Just put a little bit down, like so. Take your spreader. I tend to try to work towards the edges first because it just tends to be that the edges will, and the corners will uh, otherwise seem a, a bit neglected. And we've got some of this nice stuff stuck to the spreader on the underside. Doesn't take a whole lot. <clears throat> Just spread it over, make sure it's evenly covered, that everything has representation. If this were uh, just good old hot wire cut EPP, then nooks and crannies will be filling up with this uh, polyurethane glue. Now the key here, since you've got a nice smooth surface, nice good even coverage, squeegee everything off. Whoop. There's a lot on there. I've just based, I've got an old cardboard box here I'm going to clean my squeegee off on. Get all that gunk off. Looks like I could use another shot down here. The insect screening. I haven't noticed that there is a side A, side B with the screen. I think it's manufactured pretty evenly on both sides. Kind of smish it down for now and then Holly suggested to go ahead and squeegee it down because you've got this nice force to work with that your fingers just can't quite do. Really press it into the foam. Ah. <coughs> Is grab some wax paper and lay over this. Apparently uh, this technique is not really great for uh, sharp turns, compound curves, but uh, it's a really great technique for surfaces. Let this cure for about uh, for an hour or two, and see what happens. The assembly is cured for two hours. Let's do a little test here, a little pull test. Feels pretty strong on the corners. Fairly smooth. All you really feel now is the texture of the screen. So 
what I'd like to do is take some of this passion paint, the lightweight speckle, and give it one more coating. This time we're not filling in uh, the expanded polypropylene, we're filling in the texture of the insect screen. Again, same uh, principle technique that we used on the previous video about uh, filling in the EPP with lightweight spackle. Just back and forth until everything's filled in, all the different angles work both 90 degrees back and forth. Make sure you get all your edges. And um, once you're let this cure, come back and sand it with say 120 grit, maybe something even better than that afterwards. And after that, you can hit it with some Super 90 or perhaps Super 77, which has a, a better mist. And you'll be ready to apply Monaco. That's really all there is to it. It's going to look like this once you're, uh, once you're finished. And it's going to be really smooth, it's going to be really strong, and it didn't take a whole lot of time. You know, we're looking at like three or four different steps. It's a very professional job. I think you're going to like it. Uh, attribute this to Jeremy at Ohio Combat. He does have a YouTube presence. He does poke around. Uh, I believe his username is Grumman. He's in my friends list. Oh boy, he's definitely my friends list. Hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something, I hope you can use it to your success.